One method of casting used to great effect by the Czech husband and wife team of Stanislav Libensky and Jaroslova Brichtova is called chunk casting. The mold is prepared and instead of being filled with molten glass poured into it from above, it's packed with chunks of glass. And as the mold is heated and the glass melts, gases are released and the end product is not only a sculptural form exactly corresponding to the mold, but also a form that's inhabited by veils and swirls of bubbles of the gases released as the chunks melted. A mold has been made of a mixture of plaster and silica. The bottom has been impressed with a rectangular decorative pattern. It's placed in a kiln and crushed glass in the form of chunks are placed inside the mold. Here, a high quality optical lead glass is being used. The mold is filled to overflow because as the glass softens, it will take up less volume and settle downward into the mold. An electronic controller is adjusted to gradually heat the mold with the glass inside to a temperature of about 1400 degrees. Once the temperature has been reached, it takes about two and a half or three hours for the fragments of glass to soften and fuse to each other and to gradually settle into the mold. As they do this, bubbles gradually rise to the surface and pop. The glass settles completely into the mold to fill all of the recesses and crevices. The kiln with the glass and the mold in it is very gradually cooled to room temperature over a period of about 12 to 14 hours. The mold material is brittle and can easily be broken away from the glass object. You can see that the upper surface is perfectly smooth. The lower surface, which has been in contact with the mold, takes on all of the shapes and contours of the lower part of the mold.